of Leicester. Delighted to meet you. Count Corbucci, the Italian ambassador. Delighted. You must uh, look at the jewels. Oh, yes, we will. The Honorable Algernon Gilfillan. Sorry, fellow. He's a monster of wickedness. Really? Yeah. What jewels? You didn't tell me they were going to be jewels. Didn't I? No. Oh, I must have forgotten to mention nothing about it. No? Things made by the Italian court. Jewel, a sort of... Roman Fabergé, King Victor Emmanuel in honor of the unification of Italy. They've been sent over for exhibition as part of the Jubilee celebrations. I'm told they're fabulously valuable. Raffles, you don't have it in mind. No, 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 no. How could you think such a thing? It's I wonder where they are. You don't see any fabulously valuable jewels around you, buddy? Over there? Oh, an upper room? Possible. Less easily burglable. And I dare say a plain clothes policeman on the door. Let's go and see. But you won't just to see if I want. Yes, what did I tell you? Which one's up? Oh, I beg yours. I was speaking to my friend. I read somewhere it was the uh, Illustrated London News, I fancy, that the jewels were being displayed in open cases without even glass to protect them. Awfully risky. Awfully tempting. You said you weren't going to. No, no. No. The idea doesn't attract me. Well, it'd be like taking sweets from a child. Why? Joe, they're beautiful. Huh? So beautiful. Feliz. Southern Italian type. From Naples, perhaps. Napoli. Albaccio di Fuoco. It's the volcano that gives them their magnificent temperament. Good evening, Mr. Ramos. Good evening, Inspector. I'm enchanted to see you. Is that so? Mm. Yeah, there was an idea just now. It didn't attract me. It didn't interest me at all. But now, by seeing you, it suddenly becomes very attractive, just by your being here. And uh, what idea might that be, Mr. Raffles? Ah, you might tell the ambassador, and that would never do. Are you a friend of the Italian ambassador, Inspector? I'm here at his request. Oh, you know, so am I. Do you think there's anyone who isn't? I think there might be one or two guests who are not above stealing the jewels on display. But they're so beautiful Aye. and so tempting and so easy to steal. Aye, but uh, maybe not so easy to get away with. Oh, now, why do you say that? Ah. I bet you've a trick or two up your sleeve, eh, Inspector? Yeah. I bet he has. You better not try anything, Raffles. What? Nonsense with my friend the ambassador. But you never steal from your host on principle. Yes, but these aren't his. 
These are the Italian royal jewels. I have a particular reason for disliking the House of Savoy. What? Hmm? Yeah, never mind now. I think of one sooner or later. They're rich. And I hate the rich because I'm not one of them. You don't do badly. Yes, but I'm not rich, except occasionally and momentarily. Oh, yes, and I hate Corbucci. Who? Count Corbucci, the Italian ambassador, the one I introduced you to. Oh, yeah. He's a swine in more than one way. And he's coming towards us now. Hello, Count. We've been admiring the jewels. Magnificent, are they not? Oh, <laughs> really. I particularly admire. May I show you? May I? It's the crescent moon. Made of diamonds and pearls. Ah, you have a good taste, Raffles. Uh, that is the most valuable of all. Is it? Oh, yes, by far. It is worth, uh, how you say, a king's ransom. I have had very strict instructions from my king. Have you? Not to lose it. Oh, I'm sure. As much as my life is worth. As much as that. Well, well, well. Well, I shall see you later, dear Raffles. I must go and deal with my other guests. Excuse me. Absolutely evil reputation, particularly about women. Did you see the look that girl gave him? I wonder. Wonder what? Wonder if he's been living down to his reputation. The girl's coming this way. To offer more champagne? Yeah. Well, I think we might accept some. Champagne, sir. Thank you. For you, sir. Thank you so much. It's extraordinary. What? She said, so far as I could make out, are you two? Which is? Help, in Italian. Help where? How? Well, that's what I don't know yet. But while we're finding out, we can strike one blow, Freedom. Can we? Bunny. My dear old partner, come here. You will not fail to notice that each of these fabulously valuable jewels is displayed individually. <laughs> well, anyone can see that. Exactly. And the photographer from the Illustrated London News, when he photographed them, and I saw it when I read the Illustrated London News. Well? Well? I think we should have another look at the crescent made of diamonds and pearls. I'm sure the inspector won't mind. Beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Mm. I persuaded a friend of mine to make me a cheap replica. I have it in my pocket. Raffles! Honey! Don't make a disturbance. Not yet. What I want you to do, in fact, is make a disturbance, but not now. Well, not quite yet. In a couple of minutes or so. What for? Well, so that people will look at you and not at me. And you're going to... Raffles, you must be mad! Manny, be quiet. It isn't time for people to start looking at you yet. What kind of disturbance do you want me to make? Oh, my dear fellow, use your imagination. I mean, just go over into the far corner and uh, start a fight. No? Do a Zulu war dance? Have a heart attack? Anything you like. Just so long as you attract the attention of Kenzie and his many men and anyone else who happens to be around. I... Uh, Bunny, Bunny. Are you going to be useless all your life? No. Bulu, bulu, I'm a Zulu. Set away, oh, bulu, why, oh, hondaleo, close of play, oh, umpa, umpa, great big jumper, umpa, ah, 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 
I've seen infants of two years old do better heart attacks than that. You leave him to me, Inspector. I'll deal with him. I'll take him outside and give him a good talking to. Mr. Raffles. No, 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 Inspector. It's all right. Don't worry about a thing. Just let me get him outside. Mr. Raffles, you and your friend would oblige me by remaining where you are and not moving from this room. Why do we have to stay here? That's pity. Here. Drink this. You need it. Chin chin. Chin chin. May I take your glass, sir, and give you another one? Thank you so much. Can't I get one? Not now, later. Mr. Raffles, you and your friend would further oblige me by remaining where you are until we ascertain whether any of the jewels are missing. And if any of them is? I'll have you strip naked and search every inch of your clothing. I'm sorry, Arturo, but uh, as much as my life is a worse. So be it. Did you get rid of it? Yeah. Gentlemen! Now! You are not gentlemen, Sporcaria! Right, come along with us. It will be a pleasure. What, well, you think so? I'm quite sure. And why do you say that? It is always a pleasure to see the police make idiots of themselves. What is Chin chin. Chin chin. Oh, tastes better afterwards. Hmm. I never enjoyed so much being stripped naked by a policeman. <laughs> oh, the sight of Mackenzie's face. Not to mention Corbucci's. But where's the loot? In the hands of that beautiful girl, that goddess, divinest of beings. So what will she do with it? Well, how do I know? How is one to predict what a goddess will do? Oh, that's all very well, but... Well, we know she's not going to betray me. I should have done it then, on the spot. We know she's in some kind of trouble. She wants my help as much as I wanted hers. We know, she knows, where I live. Do we? Well, yes. I slipped my card onto her tray while I was taking that glass of champagne, didn't you see? Yeah. Did you see me stealing the crescent? Hmm? She did. After that, the only thing was to trust her. There was no point in not trusting her in any way. Any way what? Beauty is truth. Truth, beauty, that is all ye know on earth and all ye need to know, Keats was right. We can trust her. But when? And when she can get away from the embassy without anyone knowing. Huh? So soon? I doubt it. Shall I? No. 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 I <clears throat> oh, uh, beg pardon, sir. But there's a foreign young woman come to the door asking to see you, sir. I told her these were gentlemen's apartments and I didn't know whether I ought to let her in at this time of night. It's your time. Oh, something like that, sir, Italian or French or one of those. Is she beautiful? Well, I don't know about that, sir, but she's got your card, that's for certain. Oh, send her up, Beckett, straight away. I suppose you might say she was Beckett, good-looking. send her up straight away, oh, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, right, Thank sir. you. It's her, all right. I wonder how she managed to slip away. Has she got the crescent? Oh, I'll bet she has. As payment in advance for our help. How do you think we can help her? I don't know. But I'd be willing to do absolutely anything for a goddess like that, wouldn't you? Well, almost anything. Oh, Bunny, have you no romance in your soul? Don't you see that this girl is Rostin's lointaine princesse, she who must be adored, far off, remote, beautiful, unattainable? Buonasera, signorina. Ah, signorina. Buonasera. Che piacere di rivederla. Raffles, you know, I haven't a single word of Italian. Well, I'm, I'm just saying what a pleasure it is to see her again. Has she got the crescent? Of course. Here it is. Oh, thank you. You saved, if not our lives, certainly our bacon. Bacon? It is an English expression that Bunny understands. What is your name? Faustina. Faustina. Yes, and you are? Arturo. This is Bunny. Arturo. La prega, Faustina. Si accomodi. Thank you. Now, tell me what we can do to help you. No. But, but you wanted our help. You asked for our help at the embassy this evening. You must tell me what we can do to help. I 
do not want to tell him. What did she say? But if he goes? I will tell you. What? Sorry, Molly. Outside for you, old chap. Oh! Well, I, I don't see why. Well, I... Nor do I. But it's what Faustina says. And what Faustina says is the only thing that matters. Well, it's bad enough when you won't tell me things. When she won't tell me things either. Well, Molly, don't you see that there are certain people that one naturally wants to confide in? There are others that one doesn't. Hmm? Huh. See you later. Allora, Faustina, dimmi. And when I refused to become his mistress, then he ordered me to marry Pinelli. Who's he? Pinelli is his majordomo, his man, his creatura. He does what the Count tells him. He is vile as the Count is vile. I must marry him, it is decided. But this is England. People can't be married against their will. The Italian embassy is not in England. It is a piece of Italy. But you can appeal to somebody. Who? To protect Italians in this country is the duty of the Italian ambassador, Il Conte Corbucci. Yes, I suppose. And Corbucci is not only ambassador. He is something more important. He is head of the Camorra. Is he? You know what the Camorra is? A secret society. The secret society which governs Naples. Like the Mafia in Sicily, only more powerful and more evil. The king himself does not dare do anything against their wish. Yes, but if not the king, surely you can ask someone for help? Yes. I have asked you. Why me? You have a good face. Thank you. And you are a thief. Not so good. Oh, on the contrary, it is very good. Is it? You stole a jewel from the embassy. With your help? Now you must steal me. Against the embassy and the massed forces of the Camorra? Yes. I should be delighted. Arrivederci, Arturo. Raffles! What? I'm sorry, Raffles. Beckett came up to say something and he doesn't want to tell me either. Why not? Well, it was just an Italian came to the door, sir, asking What's me that? if I... Come in. Ah, start again. Well, it was uh, five or ten minutes ago, sir. This man came to the Vigo Street door. He said he was an official of the Italian embassy. What did it look like? Oh, nasty-looking piece of work, sir. You know, very... Foreign, dark, like a native. And what did he want? Well, he asked if a young lady had come here, sir, uh, an Italian lady. To which you said? Oh, I told him no, no one like that. But I thought you ought to know about it, sir. Yes. Thank you, Beckett. You did right. And if anyone else comes asking, you have not seen this lady nor anyone else like her. No, sir, I understand, sir. Uh, would you like me to show her out the other way, sir? Yes, please, if you would, in a moment. Right, sir. I think it'll be safe, huh? It was Pinelli. He must have found out you were not in the embassy. So he came here? Well, perhaps among other places. Perhaps. I'm frightened for you. Oh, no, you must think of yourself. You have to go back there till Tuesday. And on Tuesday you will come for me? Senza altro. A martedì. What happened on Tuesday? Oh, um, first things first. Tomorrow morning, you will go to a steamship office and you will buy a ticket for the, uh, the SS Hibernia. It sails from Liverpool next Wednesday morning. I know it does, because Ivan is going to New York on it with that musical comedy of his. You know the thing that, you know, what's its name? What, that it's been doing so well at Daly's. Well, who's a ticket for? Oh, your wife, your mother, whichever you please. Well, I don't happen to have either of them. A first-class ticket. Fit for a princess. Raffles, are you in love with that girl? Oh, I don't think so. But if you were to ask, would I die for her? I think the answer is yes, cheerfully. I've never seen you like this. Well, naturally, I hope I don't have to. And I hope you don't have to either. What? We must live, Bunny. 
to give old Corbucci a bloody nose. For her sake. until the boat sails. Now, don't leave her side. Right. And don't hesitate to use your shooter if you have to defend her. They won't hesitate. Why should you? Depend on me, Raffles. Gotcha. One more thing to do here. You are not coming with me? No. Arturo. Adio, Arturo. Adio. E buon viaggio. Ti amo, Arturo. Tesoro, 
ha lasciato la porta aperta per me, per la nostra passione. No, it's not Faustina, it's me. Revels! Quiet! If you have any ambition to stay alive, then I would take the greatest pleasure in killing you. What have I done? Thank God that Faustina is sick from you. Faustina! Just to make sure. Hmm? Now, I'm sure your staff will take, will assume that when they find your own bed empty, that you have been happily victorious and won't dream of searching for you and won't dream of disturbing Faustina. Hmm? Uh, 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 that's much too much noise. Mm. Hey, try again. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes, again. Mm. Oh, that's, that's much better. Mm. Now then, mm. but we are a dead struggle. Mm. You're only mm. wasting mm. your breath. And you're making mm. all the more uncomfortable. Mm. I just want to slip mm. this on you. Make you mm. nice and cosy. That's mm. one, eh? Mm. Oh, please, come on, come on. Be a little more comfortable. Mm. I just want you to be nice and safe and comfortable mm -hmm. till about nine o'clock ah, tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. You think you'll be safe till then? Nice and quiet till then? Have a nice rest till then? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sure you will. Now listen, listen, I have to say goodbye and leave you. Perhaps I should say arrivederci. Yeah. Mm -hmm. arrivederci. You, uh, don't mind if I turn out the lights, do you? Oh, come on. Surely you're not afraid of the dark. Daylight. And you don't mind if I lock the door and take away the key, do you? Just to make it as late as possible before the staff find you, right? Uh, one or nothing. A, one the darling. Excuse me, sir, but uh, speaking of foreigners, yes. there was an eye tie at the door just now. I left this for you. I uh, thought I'd better bring it up straight away, sir. Oh, yes, thank you. Sir. I mean, in view of what happened the other day, sir. Yes. How <laughs> much of a letter? M. <laughs> what would that mean, sir? M. Morte. Death. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Beckett. Well? It's all right. I saw the boat sail. No trouble of any kind? None. Oh, thank God. First stop, New York. Faustina will be out of the count's reach there. I gave her your parcel. Good. What was in it? She seemed surprised. The proceeds of the sale of King Victor Emmanuel's crescent. Oh. A dowry. Whatever man has the good fortune to marry her. Oh. Oh, well, she, um, she gave me a letter for you. Aren't you going to read it? Later. Well, what did you do at the embassy after we'd left? <laughs> Made Corbucci resolve to kill me. What? <laughs> he may be too late for the boat, but he's not too late for his revenge. And if I know my man, he's organising it fast. Why, half the organ grinders and the hokey pokey sellers in London are keeping watch on me. There was an organ grinder outside here just now. I gave him sixpence. Well, then you contributed to the funds of the Camorra. I'm blowed if I do. I'll oh, get no, it no, back no, off. no, no, no. Leave him alone. At least we know where he is. We can always use the other way out. Oh yes. Raffles, you must be careful. My problem is not how to avoid Court Butchie and his many men, but how to get him the sack from his job as head of the Camorra. What? No, you idiot. As the Italian ambassador. It irks me that a country should be represented by a swine like that. 
at the court of St. James's, why it's disrespectful to the Queen. By Jove, you're right. So we must catch him. Doing something that will have him sent home in disgrace. Yes. What? Oh, we must make him do something or seem to do something. After all, we're cleverer than he is, aren't we? Yes. Hello, is that Mr. Raffles? Hello, this is Emilio Risi. No, no, you, you don't know me, but I believe you're an enemy of Count Corbucci. Forgive me taking this precaution. I don't trust the Count not to send one of his own men posing as his enemy. You are right not to trust him. And why should I trust you? Because that swine has ruined my wife. And for that, I will kill him. And how will you do that? Signor, you do not realize. My wife, a morta di vergogna. She died of shame. She stabbed herself. So I will stab him. And I will twist the knife in his guts as he twisted it in mine. And she, God forgive her in hers. I will twist it ten times for her shame. Ten times for mine. You have my deepest sympathy. I can depend on you to help me kill him. Perhaps. Perhaps he's no good. Then I will say yes, if you have a plan. I have it. But first tell me how you knew I was an enemy of the Count. Faustina was my friend. She told me. Did she? She told me you would come and rescue her, take her away to... Uh, she did not know, but... She trusted you. She loved you. Did she tell you that? She did not need to tell me. I could read it in her eyes. What is your plan? Count Corbucci goes sometimes at night alone to a bordello, a, a house of bad women. I can believe it. My plan is to trap him there and kill him, naked in his bed, his sinful bed, so that the world will know where the Italian ambassador died. And where is this bordello? That I do not know yet. How will you find it out? I will watch the embassy every evening. And when the Count goes out, I will follow him wherever he goes. And when he is there, I will give you un colpo di telefono. It's only me. That organ grinder's still outside. So you've been giving him money again? No fear. Is any sign of any more of them? Only one. It was on our side. What was he? A man who proposes to kill the count with my help. Raffles. You must be careful. How do you know he's not a member of the Camorra in disguise? I don't. I just feel he isn't. But you don't know? I admit I'm taking a chance with him. There, now, should you? Well, if I'm wrong, and I may well be, I have... One way to stop the Count wreaking his revenge on me. What's that? Brandy! And cyanide of cacodyl. One swallow or one good sniff would do the trick and I'd be as dead as a doornail. Really? Yes. Deadliest poison known to modern science. Hello. Mr. Raffles. I followed him. Where? To the bordello? Yes. He's there now. We, we can catch him. Give me the address now, Nita, there. I give it to you. A 20. A do not write it down. I've promised you will not write it down. No, all right. I won't write it down. Yes. Yes. Who have you promised? I can't talk now. I, I see you there, huh? Sorry, sir. He's gone out. Just this moment. Gone out? You missed him by the silly Where's he gone to? Oh, he didn't say where, sir. Didn't you leave me a message? No, sir. He just rushed out of here like the wind. Oh. Oh. 
Well, um, I'll go up and wait, I suppose. Right, sir. to see girls. Who told you there was girls here? Count Corbucci. Oh. Well, what do you fancy? Blonde, brunette? We like what Count Corbucci likes. Oh, wow. We want to see him. We are his friends. <laughs> you can't see him at the... In this one, with Elsie. You opened your door. At two, Brute. Carlo Arturo, delighted that you could come. How are you feeling, Arturo? Tell me, huh? you can't, uh, but you can speak uh, with your eyes. Uh, you can uh, show me how you feel. You understand? I don't want you to miss any of the fun by being unconscious. I want you to enjoy every last minute of it, and uh, there will be 12 hours. 12 a time, uh, 60 minutes, that's 720. And to help you count the time, you will have a clock. But uh, it doesn't count uh, the minutes. Those you will count for yourself. Only the hours. Uh, and when the hour hand comes around to 12 o'clock again, then death will come to release you from the agony of waiting. <laughs> it is an ingenious toy invented to execute the enemies of the Camorra. And you are an enemy at uh, 12 o'clock in the middle of the afternoon. The weight will release the hammer and the pistol will shoot uh, straight to your heart. You understand? Nod your head to show me you understand. Good, that is good. I am kind to you, am I not? I give you 12 hours to live. You only tie me up for six hours before I was released, but I am more generous. I uh, give you 12. And so for 12 hours, you can do exactly as you please. You can keep your eyes open if you like and uh, watch the clock go around. Or you can close your eyes if you prefer and listen to the tick-tock and hear the clock strike every quarter of an hour. <laughs> as you prefer. You can uh, please yourself. Nod your hand to tell me you think I am a kind. You are not polite, Arturo, not polite at all. There is no matter. You will not die sooner because of that. You will wait till 12, and then you will die. And no one will come to save you. Now, Arturo, is there any little question you want to ask me before I leave you here to enjoy yourself? Lasciatelo parlare. Anything you want to say is your last chance. Thank God Faustina is safe from you. Anything else, the next time may not be so gentle. One. 
one favor. I ask. What is it? A little flask of brandy in my pocket. May I drink it, please? Which uh, pocket? Inside, breast, left. This, uh, yes, is a brandy. Yeah. And you would like to drink in We We can share it if you like. Why don't we have one last drink together? In Bavaliate, love. I'm sorry, Arturo. I do not like to do anything uh, that might give you pleasure. Andiamo. I want you to feel every last moment as it passes. Thank you very much. No. No, don't bother. I suppose there's nobody there. There's another gentleman here wants to know where he is. Who? Who? Well, not exactly a gentleman, sir. It's that policeman. Hey? Eh? The one you've had trouble with. Inspector Mackenzie. That's right, sir. And I didn't tell him anything. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Becky. And thank you, sir. Morning, Mr. Mandos. Inspector, I think Mr. Raffles may have been caught by the Camorra. Oh, it's strange you should say that. Why is it strange? Oh, a coincidence, that's all. I was just uh, brooding on this Italian business and how to trace that jewel that was stolen. All right, well, I'm glad somebody's got him. We have got to find him. What for? If they've caught him, they'll kill him. one leave a message saying where one has gone, eh? On the table? No note. On the desk. 
No note. On the mantelpiece, no note. Or by the telephone. Got it! Eh? I found it! I found it! Ah, won't make a detective of you yet, eh? Someone must have given it to him over the telephone and he, he jotted this down. That's no, good. What is it then? Well, it, it must be an address. Twenty. Twenty what? He must have written that down as, as a kind of mnemonic. Oh, huh. Well, what does it mean? Well, the square means a square, probably. And the diagonal? A hill? By, and the K? Well, in chess notation, a K means a king. So, king, hill, square. Twenty kings, hill, square. How well done. Oh, good old Raffles. He did leave us a note after. All we've got to do now is go to King's Hill Square and rescue him. Well, I'll ring up the yard and find out where it is. Right. King's Hill Square in London or the home counties. What? Nor a King's Hill, nor a King Hill of any kind. Oh. Well, oh, th then uh, what, what else can it mean? tried everything else. This diagonal isn't a hill at all, or, or a slope, or a rise. Right. What is it, then? It's a... a bar sinister. A what? From left to right. It, it's a sign in your shield which shows you're illegitimate. You're a bastard. Oh, well, what does that make it, then? I don't know. Of course, it means king. And the bar sinister, what were the king's bastards called in Norman times? Fitzroy! Fitzroy Square! <laughs> Twenty! Fitzroy, Fitzroy Square! Square. Somewhere, I think it's in here. Ah, it is in here. God bless my soul, the count. What's happened to him? There. Suicide? One whiff and he was as dead as a doornail. And you're alive. That's good. Yes. Thanks, Bunny. But next time, could you not cut it quite so fine?
Thank you.